I'm being kind of quiet right now because Rick's still sleeping. And I don't want to wake him up. He has to work tonight at uh, his hell. <laughs> so to speak, he calls it hell. Anyway, I um, just wanted to give a quick update on uh, the HCG diet as I've been doing it. It's been kind of a tumultuous two days, uh, so to speak, with the diet. Um, apparently, I'm one of a small percentage that gets severe morning sickness at the beginning of HCG diet. <laughs> Um, went through the load days just fine, but then on the very first day of the 500 calorie diet, I mean, I felt fine when I got up in the morning. I was great, no problems, ate the first meal. Hmm. Halfway through it, I started feeling kind of tired, kind of lethargic, weird, and then all of a sudden the nausea hit. And the meal decided to represent itself, so to speak. Mm-hmm. So I, on the very first day, it happened on meals one and two. The only weird thing about meal two is that it, the steak stayed down. I did um, steak. So if you really want to put it into perspective, I did a glorified steak day. <laughs> um, because I really didn't keep much of anything except for the Melba toast and the steak down. That's just about it. Um, day two, which is yesterday, uh, on the 500 calorie diet, I actually managed to keep everything down. The nausea was minimal, and uh, but I did have problems with the headache towards the, the end of the evening, and I was a little bit hungry, so it wasn't too bad. This morning, no nausea. You know, so far so good. I have my cafe. I have my water. And I ate the Melba toast earlier, and I'm having good ate through it, which I love grapefruit. So I figured I would split the meals up a little bit to maybe bring the nausea down. Um, and it seems to be working. Um, in fact, this morning, if there's been any nausea, I really haven't noticed it. I've been um, just eating the grapefruit sections slowly, just to be sure. I um, haven't quite decided what I want to do for the first meal yet. I haven't decided if I want to go ahead and uh, defrost the chicken for dinner tonight. I'm going to have to decide soon, otherwise it's not going to get defrosted. Um, I don't want to do another steak because I did that yesterday. I kind of stuck on day two with the days that, with the uh, foods that I knew stayed down on day one. Um, and then took a gamble with some of the other stuff. Um, didn't. I did one vegetable yesterday, and that's because trying to eat the other vegetable kind of began the same effect, and I didn't really want to give up my lunch. So I did tomatoes on the uh, dinner yesterday. So I did pretty good. I did shrimp on the dinner and uh, the tomatoes, the Melba toasts. And nice thing with the shrimp that I did was I did a little bit of the sea salt, uh, garlic, just pressed garlic, and... The orange that I was using for the fruit, when I was finished cooking, and I didn't use any butter, nothing like that, because you're not supposed to, um, I actually took a little bit of water, put it inside the frying pan, put the garlic in, put the salt in, let that kind of simmer for a little bit, then put the shrimp in, cooked that, um, drained all of that off, put it onto the plate, and then drizzled the orange juice on top of it, and it came out amazingly well. So that's something I would recommend if you don't mind. It's a little bit more bland than what I would want, but it still tasted good. So that's a thought for those of you who are getting started on the HCG diet and you're not quite sure how you're going to flavor food. Things like the citrus fruit, fruits, especially the orange, is good to drizzle on top of stuff. Plus also you can use lemon. So it's, it's pretty good. Um, but today I think I'm going to maybe move the steak to tomorrow. Uh, and go for, we'll try the fish again. We're going to try tilapia today and chicken tonight. Sounds good to me anyway. Haven't decided on the vegetables yet because my stomach's really not liking the thought of anything green for some reason. <laughs> it's okay with the tomatoes apparently. It, I even threw up cucumbers. Can you believe that? Well, anyway, so as far as weight loss, I started off on the 500 calorie part of the diet at 
um, at the end of the load days, I was actually right around that same point. So it was about 280 to 279.8, right around there. Uh, before I went on the load days, I was at 277. So I thought I'd gain five pounds. It's actually not quite that much. Um, even though I ate a tremendous amount of fat, which a friend of mine told me, yeah, maybe you ate just a little bit too much of that, you know, and I, I'm serious. I, I went nuts on the fat because I was told to go ahead and go nuts on the fat. It might have had not so good of an effect. So when I go for round two, I'm going to change it up a little bit, maybe try and uh, insert some slightly healthier fats in there, not so much fried stuff. Um, and I think one thing that I'm going to try for the for the next round as well is right off the bat splitting up the foods a little bit because if I got a little bit of morning sickness from this one then I'm probably going to get it on the second phase as well or the second phase I mean the second uh, round as well so that's good to know and I'm writing all this stuff down too so today I weighed in at 273.2 yeah mm, 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 mm. I'm happy that's my happy dance um, not too bad probably some of that's from the inability to keep some food down but you know that was on day one and um, that's all fine and good I was a little worried that maybe I was going to gain because I noticed that my sugar was up this morning and I was a little worried about why that was because I didn't eat anything before I went to bed so hmm. but then uh, it occurred to me and I've been having some um, issues with itching in a very private area and I had to use some medication for that and that's what made me understand okay <laughs> maybe that's what did it so I'll I'll just keep an eye on it but uh, I need to start better tracking the uh, the blood sugars on this diet as well I did I have been writing down the morning blood sugars but I think I need to write down everything I've never been really good with journaling um, so this is actually the first time in my life that I've been journaling anything and doing it even marginally well because thank thank God that book had a bunch of journal entry things that you could do so that's helpful now I gotta find uh, I got somewhere I've got that glucose m monitoring book and I gotta find that but anyway um, so the, the, at least the blood sugars are down considerably before I started on this diet my blood sugars were ranging in the 300s and 400s now they're down in the 200s in the morning yesterday evening uh, they were finally below 200 so there's some improvement going on here and I'm very excited about that um, as far as how I feel well, like I mentioned you know, I feel a lot better this morning which is nice so today's agenda is I gotta go buy bird food for my my little petite bubas they uh, are out of food and the reason why I'm not in my office is because Ziggy's been a creep lately so don't feel like uh, him squawking behind me right now. He's been kind of on mating season. But anyway, um, so basically what I'm going to do is finish my the remainder of my little breakfast here and go out and do my errands. Um, for those who are wondering how I'm doing on the unemployment front, the official news is I've been denied on the unemployment because apparently, according to the state of Washington, I'm not sick enough <laughs> or I wasn't sick enough to justify quitting. So they said, why don't you contact Charter and see if you can get back with them. I did find a couple of positions that Charter had that were not in the uh, the stress me out to the ultimate maximum and be around all the sickies department, which would aka retention. Um, they've got the, a couple of positions open in the billing department and one inside Charter Business, which that one I wouldn't mind so much because you're working with businesses and I could dig that. But when I did call and talk to their HR department, I told them, I said, you know, I might have acted a little bit too much in haste in leaving and would like to come back. That's at all possible if you guys will have me. He says, well, you're going to have to go ahead and fill out the, all the yada yada, all that stuff, which I have already done. So he says, well, we'll go from there. And I'm like, okay, well, thank you for the help. Huh. So we'll see what happens. So as it is, stands right now, no income coming in. Who knows what's going to happen? I got to leave it in God's hands. Sorry, guys, I'm a Christian. I do believe in God. 
Um, I'm not a wacky Christian now. I'm not going to grab a Bible and thump you over the head and go, you go go to hell. That ain't like me. So, hmm. Oh. It's a wild ride on this diet, but you know, I'm kind of digging it in a way. Even though I am <laughs> morning sickness and stuff, I'm still kind of digging it because I'm seeing the results. And I'm feeling the difference. There's some things that have changed that I feel a lot better about. So, so far so good, you know. And then it's only day three on the 500 calorie diet. So it's, you know, to go from 279.8 down to 273.2. It's a good start after three days on the low cal diet. So at least I think it is. Anyway, that's all for me. Got to go get things done today. And I will probably talk to you guys tomorrow. Take care, y'all. Love ya. Bye-bye.